developing this morning. No one saw it coming. Democratic Congressman Luis Gutierrez is retiring after 24 years. Good morning, everyone. I'm Marion Kennedy. Marissa is off. Mike Puccinelli is live in River North, where Gutierrez is expected to make the official announcement soon. Hi, Mike. Hi, one day after filing the necessary signatures required to run for what would have been his 13th term, Congressman Luis Gutierrez is instead expected to announce his retirement in a matter of hours in this banquet hall that you see behind me. That's where he scheduled a one o'clock news conference. Congressman Luis Gutierrez, who's long enjoyed strong support in his district, has always had a flair for the dramatic. Here he is being arrested outside the White House seven years ago while trying to protest deportations. It's that willingness to put himself on the line that led some to call him the Moses of the Latino community. It's hard to point to another colleague of his who's done more to keep those issues relevant. The issues she's talking about, immigration and Puerto Rico, where Gutierrez traveled recently several times in the wake of Hurricane Maria. North Central College political science professor Stephen Caliendo agrees, saying Gutierrez has become one of the Congress's leading spokesmen on immigration and Hispanic issues. These are big shoes to fill. He's been an important voice uh, for Spanish-speaking Americans in particular. Um, he, he does the, the national circuit quite a bit. That's why word of the 63-year-old's planned departure came as such a surprise to 4th District constituents. I didn't hear about it until right now. I think it's pretty sad and hope that they find a good replacement. Gutierrez is a former cab driver and social worker who became an alderman allied with Mayor Harold Washington during the tumultuous council wars. He then moved from City Hall to the halls of the U.S. Congress, where his voice could consistently be heard inside the Beltway and beyond. A voice constituents say they'll miss. It's shocking. Uh, he's been, you know, uh, he's been in this for a long time now, and uh, it just seems like it came out of nowhere, especially in a time where, you know, the community really needs him. And Gutierrez is expected today to endorse Cook County Commissioner Jesus Chuy Garcia for his spot as his chosen successor. Now, Alderman Carlos Ramirez Rosa also is expected to enter the race. They'll both need to amass the 862 signatures by December 4th. Reporting live outside Maggiano's Banquet Hall, Mike Puccinelli, CBS 2 News. Aaron? Mike, thank you.